We've talked about how Booleans take on the value of either true or false. And so far, we've been directly assigning that value, like with the code Boolean B1 equals true and Boolean B2 equals false. But Boolean values can also be calculated by doing tests like comparisons. And these are called Boolean expressions. And expressions look something like this. This expression, which checks if 3 is less than 5, is something we know is true. 3 is less than 5. And in fact, this expression evaluates to the Boolean value of true. And we can assign that value to a Boolean variable like before. And let's name this one b3. So here, b1 and b3 are equal to the same value, true. But b3 is assigned to the value of this comparison and not to true directly. Then if we wrote this expression, which checks if 3 is greater than 5, this would evaluate to the Boolean value of false, since 3 is not greater than 5. And then b2 and b4 will have the same value. There are a number of ways that we can compare numbers or variables that will evaluate to true or false. In addition to these less than and greater than expressions, we can also have less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. And let's use these in examples too. We could compare two numbers again, like to test if 7 is less than or equal to 6. And since 7 is greater than 6, then this expression is not true. It evaluates to false. And instead of using numbers, we can use variables in these comparisons too. Like say we've declared an integer variable named x and initialized it to 10 before starting these comparisons. We can then compare that variable to another number or variable. Like this expression, which tests is x greater than or equal to 10? Java will see this and say x is 10. So yes, it's equal to 10, and the expression is true. And if we want to only test for equality, we use double equal signs. So we can test something like if x is equal to 9. And since 10 is not equal to 9, this expression will evaluate to false. And let's look at this equality check in detail. In Java, the double equal sign tests for equality and is not to be mistaken with the single equal sign, which in Java is a variable assignment. So when we write x equals equals 9, this expression is the equivalent of the Boolean value false, and our variable x will still be equal to 10. But if we said x equals 9 with 1 equals, this would change the value of x from 10 to 9, and no Boolean value will be calculated. So remember to use double equal signs to check for equality. And to check if two values are not equal, we use exclamation point equals, where this exclamation point means not. And so x not equal to 9 will evaluate to true, because 10 is not equal to 9. It's the opposite of the previous equality check. And because all these types of expressions evaluate to true or false, they are often used as test conditions in decision-making if statements. But before we get to using these for decision-making, let's get more practice evaluating these expressions.